All right, what's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be taking a look at some Eugene pickup lines. Ironically, these are all actually taken from a BuzzFeed article, but for once, I'm not actually going to be criticizing BuzzFeed itself. I know that's fucking crazy, right? But you'll see what I mean. Someone just sent me this article, and I thought it was funny. I guess the premise behind it is pretty simple. They just asked random girls to send in any messages from dudes that they thought were kind of weird or whatever, and then they pick the best ones to make the article there's not really much else to say for the intro i mean it's pretty self-explanatory so let's just start reading some of these messages so the first message comes from eric and at 11 28 p.m on september 12th he says i'm not really good at this whole first message thing but i'd really like to chat with you smiley face yeah so not really the best opening line you want to throw out there but you know you do sound like a nice person so you got that going for you but this is the first message you ever sent to this bitch this was your chance to make a good first impression and you sent her that so i can't really say i'm surprised that you didn't get a response by man but don't worry eric is not worried because at 1 a.m just a few hours later my man hit her with the uh, come on bitch open those legs okay so i see we're going with a different approach now we're, we're being a little bit more direct uh maybe a little bit too direct i don't see that working out for you basically i think what happened is this right the first message was at 11 28 p.m so he was still like pretty positive you know he was trying to message this girl see what's up and when she didn't respond for two hours like my man was just flustered all right it was 1 33 a.m eric was just fucking horny dude he was like you know what bitch open those goddamn legs i got Gotta respect the approach man i was very bold i just don't think it's gonna work out for you man maybe next time we'll try to meet somewhere in the middle of those two lines all right your first line was like a pussy line and your second line was fucking insane so if you just maybe meet somewhere in the middle you might get a response all right this next one starts like midway through the conversation i think so i'm not really sure what was said before but it starts out with right on well hopefully we meet one day and you see that i am not not rapist what wait a minute what the fuck are you talking about i'm just gonna assume that the previous combo has something to do with that and he didn't just throw that out there i'm just way nice i don't about those things i've served a mission i'm lds i don't what the fuck is lds all right i just looked it up apparently that's like the mormon church or something so anyways i guess this guy's mormon and that means he's not a rapist or whatever i don't know what the fuck is going on here but then the girl responds with well when you're trying to get me to come touch on you past midnight it just sounds sketchy and finally eugene over here responds with there is no way that I am rapist bro why do you keep saying that listen man people that are not rapists don't go around saying hey I'm not a rapist like it's already assumed that you're not a rapist man the fact that you need to keep clarifying that hey I don't rape people whoa I'm, I'm just a nice guy man I'm not a rapist like that makes me think that you are a fucking rapist all right this next one is actually crazy i'm not gonna lie she actually identified a code eugene it, like no exaggeration here this was literally a fucking eugene all right let's look at the message oops i meant because you're absolutely way beyond gorgeous possibly in a relationship actually talking to me and probably a sweetheart with a heart of gold i don't know what the fuck you're talking about bro but then she responds with do you like fedoras wait a minute hold up she just knew that she had a code eugene on her hands like she was just testing him if he says yes then you're guaranteed to know it is indeed a code eugene and guess what this motherfucker responds with yes do you what am i hearing bro she literally identified a code eugene all right he sent her some weird ass shit she said do you like fedoras he said yes and she never responded to him again i'm gonna need you to identify yourself because this cannot be a coincidence but wait hold on we're not done eugene sends one final message at 301 a.m okay don't respond to my messages dumb bitch nice guys like me 
don't need hoes like you. You're probably lesbian anyways. As you can see, Eugene was not very happy about the situation. I'm sure he took out all of his frustration on third period the next day. So RIP to all those students out there. All right, this next one's kind of interesting. Like, it's one thing to double text, but this motherfucker on a whole new level. Like, he just talking to himself here. So let's just take a look at some of these messages. I was nice. Sad face. When I say I am nice, I am super nice. I am so nice that I will even do your homework. Hold on, pause. What the hell are you talking about, my dude? First of all, this is now your fifth message in a row. At this point, do you realize that you just talking to yourself here, man? Ain't nobody responding to you. And you thought the best way to get this girl to respond was to say that you're gonna do her homework, bro. <laughs> I've had enough, man. Like, what are you saying? LMAO, if you ask politely, okay, bye. You all girls are same W. How many is that in a row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Have some self respect. Have some respect for yourself. Nine in a row, dude? Listen, just move on, my man. You offer to do her fucking homework. This can't be real. All right, this next one is a story coming straight from Eugene himself, and he says, Fuck this uni. Been crushing on someone for months. Never talked to them. Waiting for the right moment. Watch them for ages. Hold on, man. What kind of weirdo serial killer shit is that? What do you mean by watch them for ages, man? I need an explanation here. Today, build up the courage to buy her flowers and she doesn't even care. Says she has a boyfriend. I know that's a lie. Yeah, you probably do know because apparently you fucking followed her home every day. And then... Then, when I call her out, she calls me a creep. Hey, man, you are the fucking creep here. You literally said it yourself. You've been, like, stalking this girl. I mean, of course she's gonna take it weird when the fucking weird dude that she's noticed has been following her around campus all year comes up to her and gives her some flowers. Of course she's gonna think it's fucking weird, man. Fucking sick of females at this uni. Can't appreciate an act of old-fashioned romance. Bet if some Chad went mad mic on on you you wouldn't make up a shit excuse fucking liar females are so cruel these days to the kindest of men all right straight up if i went to this fucking uni and i saw this posted on their facebook page or wherever the fuck this is posted i'm reporting this to the goddamn authorities because this fool seems like a real threat to be bringing the ak to class you know what i'm saying first he bringing you flowers the next day he bringing you a supply drop weapon this just seems like the type of a story you would see on the fucking news man like i'm actually seriously concerned reading this all right so this next one's kind of weird like this dude takes double texting to a whole new fucking level man so the first message was sent on august 3rd 2011 he said do i know you and he got no response at all. And then on March 14th, 2014, three fucking years later, he says, you are really gorgeous, just saying. What the hell? This man was waiting three years for a response and finally said, fuck it, I'll send her the double text. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on here. I have a theory, because he was coming at her rude as fuck back in 2011. He's like, do I know you, bitch? Like, why are you talking to me, right? And then 2014 comes around. He's like, oh, by the way, you're really gorgeous, right? So I think what happened was from 2011 to 2014, she glowed up, all right? She was ugly back in 2011. Then she became hot in 2014. He's like, oh, shit, what's up? Let me hit you with another text. But she still remembers his 2011 text. She's like, fuck this guy. So now fast forward another three fucking years, man. You got to give up on the dream, bro. You've been trying to get a text text back for six fucking years dude it says thursday 1202 a.m you are gorgeous and then on friday the next day he sends her another message he's getting a little bit faster on his messages now 
sorry for the compliment, and then finally, six years later, he finally gets his text back, and she says, I have a boyfriend. Damn, bro, you've been waiting six years just for her to tell you she has a boyfriend, dude. You should have given up on the dream. And of course, Eugene is not very happy about this message, so he responds with, did I ever fucking say anything that affects that? All I did was compliment you, so instead of being such a stuck-up bitch, maybe you could say thank you. <laughs> I guess you kind of have a point, um, but I just can't get over the fact that he waited six years for a text back. That is some dedication right there. He really was about it. All right, this final comment was on Reddit, so I want to think that it was a joke, but at the same time, it was on Reddit, so I can definitely see some fucking nerd typing this shit out being serious, so... Let's just read it. Unfortunately, I have never had intercourse with a woman that I found exceptional or noteworthy. If you want to impress me, cover up your breasts, take off the makeup, and impress me with your knowledge. Hold on, man. What kind of pussy shit am I reading? Miss me with that gay shit, bro. What am I seeing? Cover up your breasts and impress me with your knowledge? What the hell? Let us discuss quantum particles or the the works of Darwin and Einstein. Let us marvel at the universe and the vastness of infinity. Yea, gods, my mind aches at the vapidity of my generation. I hope this is not a serious comment. I don't know if it is or not. It has three down votes. So I feel like it is actually a serious comment because if it was a joke, wouldn't it have got upvoted? I don't fucking know. But based off of reading your entire paragraph, I think you could have just ended it after like the first seven words like right here You could have just said unfortunately I have never had intercourse with a woman period That's it. That should have been the end of your fucking comment Eugene Jesus Christ He said impress me with your knowledge and cover up your breast boy Let me catch my son telling a woman to cover up her breast anyways. That's it for the video I don't want to make it too long So we're just gonna look at a few of these if you want to look at the rest of them I will link the article in the description down below. I would say that it's actually worth looking at. There is some funny stuff on there. So anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right, yeah I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right, yeah I can only say that it feels right